Now here's the honesty test. By a show of hands, how many have the D as the highest number? If you would, raise your hand. Look around the room. Keep them up. Look around the room. Do not try to borrow money from these people. Because you're not going to get it. I right, put your hands down. Wear my high eyes. Raise your hands high. Look around the room. Borrow money from these people. They forget who they loaned it to. Because if your eye is your highest, your last column is probably under 20. Where are my S's? Look around the room. These are the only people in the room you can trust. <laughs> if these people say it's going to rain, you can set your tubs out. All right, where are my C's? Look around the room. Do not borrow money from these people. They charge interest. <laughs> Now, guys, there's no right or wrong. You can be successful and be any style. When we come back from the break, when we come back from the break, what we want to do is understand you first, understand others, so that you can adjust, not change, but you can adjust to other people. Here's oftentimes what happens. We take a person, we bring them in, we give them a job, it's not a fit. You put the wrong player in the wrong position. We blame it on the employee. Hello? We've said, well, of course, it's never my fault. I'm married. I'm used to that. Here's what happens. Marriage is a word. It's not a sentence. <laughs> Here's what happens. If we understand people as people, not as units of production, then we have a chance to put the right player in the right position and grow that person. We have a chance to put the player in the right position and put them in a position where they can be successful. All right, here's the other side of what we'll do after lunch. Guys, you sell different people differently. Would you agree that Donald Trump is different than Laura Bush? Now, they both own homes. They're in the market. Donald Trump's going to be there yelling at you. Laura's going to have cookies. <laughs> Bill Cosby is different from Bill Gates. But the mistake we make is we throw the same pitch to every batter. We're going, to have a, we're going to design a strategy for you to communicate differently to different people. Therefore, what we're going to do after lunch, well, you don't come back from lunch. You're a high eye. You'll be talking. All right, here's the deal. Here's the deal. All Irish are high eyes. Guys, here's, the, here's your assignment. Think of a customer that you're working with currently. Somebody that may have bought from you before that you know well enough, Chris, if I asked you some questions, you'd be able to answer the question. I want you to use that person as an understanding of how to strategize. If I had to go call on that person tomorrow morning, what would I continue to do or what would I adjust to doing? We're also going to talk about goal setting. Yes, we'll get to goal setting this afternoon. So I want you to pick a business goal and a personal goal to practice Zig seven-step goal setting for me. So we have two assignments. Bring a customer back with you, a name of a customer, that we're going to work on a, a, a communication strategy and also bring back a personal goal and a business goal that we're going to sit down and go through a seven-step goal-setting process. Guys, in closing, a couple of things. We're going to go to lunch. We'll be back at five after one. We'll give you an hour and a half for lunch. Guys, let me tell you something. This is a, this is a great concept that Zig has. I love this concept. You are what you are and you are where you are because of what goes into your mind. You change what you are, you change where you are by changing what goes into your mind. We have a special guest that's here uh, and ready to uh, meet all of you guys. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, world famous, American legend, Mr. Zig Ziglar! There is nothing more important than your dream, your life. Now, your dream might include uh, a wonderful relationship with God. Some of us talked about that last night. Everybody wants a better relationship with their family. Um, you guys had the, uh, the wheel of life yesterday, right? And there's seven spokes on that wheel. And if you don't have a compelling vision for your life, then you're not going to design your business properly. The only reason your business exists is to help you achieve your life goals. 
I spent a lot of time thinking about the lifestyle that I want to live. And I think that's one of the reasons that I get a lot of stuff done. And this is my vision board right here. You want to have pictures of your vision. At round table 17, that would have been about nine months ago, I did a presentation on the seven-step goal setting process. It's on the Inner Circle site right now under goals. And um, we took each one of those spokes and kind of, you know, I demonstrated with my own life how you sort of flesh that out. And so in all those seven spokes, you know, I have a vision for my life. And, and mine is very simple since the most important thing that I can do is think and get inspired and all of that. My vision board is living right there. There's uh, three and a half miles of unspoiled beach right next to that property right there where my wife and I live. And I do my live video webcast, and I walk and think and pray on that beach every day. And all of you guys come down there and visit me. How many of you went to Destin for watercolor? Uh, the yeah. Oh, your flight got canceled. Was that phenomenal? What? I mean, that's just a couple of miles from there. So you got to have a vision. So I recommend that uh, when you get home, just start tearing out pictures of magazines, picture of your family. And uh, I went to Michael Gerber's dreaming room, and he makes you draw a vision of your dream. And so I need to get that picture out really, too. I have it at home, and, and so I have uh, this, and I have uh, my family and our, our future uh, community groups and the ministry that I'll be involved in. See, when I'm living here every single day, I'll be going up to the local church up there that has a, a basketball court, and I'll be mentoring young people through basketball. See, my wife and I will have a lovely, wonderful lunch together. And then some of you guys are going to, how many of you are going to come visit me when I build a house on this property? Huh? All right. <laughs> And uh, we're going to walk down the beach together. In fact, one of the most inspirational pictures that I have, and I try to keep a lot of that stuff around to remind me of my dream, is me and Neil walking down that beach. One of our members, his uh, wife is a graphic artist, so she took that picture of Neil and I walking down the beach, having a good, strong, deep conversation, and wrote good friends in the sand. What a great picture. So keep that stuff in front of you at all times. Oh, look at this. Thank you. Thank you.